Hello everybody and welcome back to Slime Rancher. And it looks like this morning we need to do some replanting. That seems to quite often happen um, just after these. Just after I log off for the night um, and I log back in again, which I have done for this particular episode. And things need to be replanted. So I'll just go check all of the flower beds, all of the gardens, sorry, and make sure that they're all okay. This one seems to be. Heartbeats. Oi, stop running off with my heartbeats. You crazy kitten. I need to get some uh, balls of wool in here, definitely. This is definitely a place for balls of wool. This is so much easier since I've gone down to just having heartbeats, mint, mint mangoes, and cubries. Definitely such a better idea. And the cats seem happy this morning, to be honest. Okay, so that one needs replanting as well. But we have plenty of cubries to dig into the caves with us. Uh, let's see what's going on down here. I need to get rubber duckies. I so need to get rubber duckies. It does, I'm sure it despawns half the trees. Just, just to annoy me. I, w I was going to rearrange all of this, wasn't I? I was going to put, like, um, heartbeats down here. And just heartbeats. And then put trees up top. So I think I might get that started now. I do have a few things that need these heartbeats. So heartbeats only down here. I missed yeah so I've got my seed stock oh I need to put one heartbeat in there don't I and that's empty and that's my cubries cool so we have a heartbeat area with the silo and if I ever get to the position where I have too much food then I can just use that silo for that but isn't my main silo. Those will probably come off the tree soon. So we've got Kubri, Kubri, Kubri. So I'm actually going to um, change things up a bit. So I'm going to remove the crops from there. Now I'm going to make this all Kubris. Makes more sense, doesn't it, to have the same things in the same place so I can go and I can just get loads of cubries from this area. And then and loads of heartbeats from the other area. And then mint mangoes from in my main place. So remove the crops and put a cubri in there. So I have cubri, cubri, cubri. Well oh, actually that's too many cubries, sorry. Let's just change that one to a mint mango. Three cubies and a mint mango, and then I want two mint mangoes outside. So if I remove that cubie tree, it's unfortunate that uh, I've got so many. I've got four plots in there and two out here, but there's not a lot I can do about that. It's just the way the farm is. We've got two mint mango trees there, a mint mango tree in there, three cubies, three beets. And they've all got full upgrades. So you guys need beets. Be about that many. You guys also need beets. And these guys need beets. So there's three pens of them that need beets. And 
you guys can have the rest. Okay, so now we have um, these guys that need mint mangoes and the warp slimes that need mint mangoes. And these guys that can eat anything. I shouldn't forget to feed them just because they can eat anything. So I'll maybe give them 10 mint mangoes for now. Because I have less things that need mint mangoes than things that need cubries. For those guys. And top up these guys. These are important. Important that these guys are fed. Although I've clearly thought of that before because they have more food than anybody else in the whole place. I'll put these pink plorts into the science machine as well just to get them out of my inventory. There we go. Cubries for the guys in here. To check that their uh, plot things are not too full as well as I go around feeding. So we can have sort of about 20 each here. And I did want to make another pen for them down here. I've got more of an idea what I'm feeding everybody now. We've got a lot of rad plots. I need to come and check on those. Now I've got another plot here that I could do something with. And I could probably... Um, let's put another coral then. And let's make it... High walls. And with an air net. I'm going to put some phosphor slimes in there. I'll go at night and I'll find some phosphor slimes. And then we're going to probably make them... And what have we got? We've got honey and phosphor. We've got tons of phosphor, tons of honey. Let's look at the slimepedia and I'll see what I kind of want to make. Uh, slimes. So, we've got enough pink slime, I would say. We've got enough rock, enough tabby. A couple of things of tabby. We've got enough phosphor. Rad and boom, we don't have much of. We've only got one each of those. Tons of honey and one crystal. So I would say it's rad boom or crystal I want something of. Mm. But we do also have a pen spare in science lab area. Well, I might just put an incinerator or something up there. Other than that, I think this is the last pen we have free. But I can always change it if I don't like it. So I would probably say... Maybe a Phosphor Boom? Let's go see what, what gives us the most money. Let's go up to the thing. See what's the most to the right. I think it's probably the Rad Slimes. And we would want a second pen off. Although, to be honest, I do think we're more limited by food than anything else at the moment. So. Looks to me like, at the moment, rad is more um, expensive. But I think the boom might actually be slightly more base price. And crystal's right over here. Crystal seems to be fetching quite a good price as well. Yeah, why not? Let's have some phosphor crystals in there. Right, luckily it's night time, so I might have a chance of finding a few base phosphor slimes. Oh look, over there, if I can be quick. Suck them up, suck them up, before they... There we go. Have to be quick before they turn into largos. Or they start eating plorts. Okay, so this is good. This is good times. Oops. So I'm just going to make sure basically everyone's fed and that the um, dispensers are not too full. And get these new guys going. So you're going to be. Oh, I should have got some boom slime. Uh, 
some boom plots on the way through, shouldn't I? I don't know I've got a random pink slime there either. I could pop him in one of the pens. Uh, that has pink slimes. Maybe the... No, that's not pink slimes. So I would end up with turning the whole thing to tars. Maybe these hunters. I could have another one. Now these guys, there's only three of them in there. That, no, four of them. And I would prefer to have about six. One, two, three, four, five in there. So I could up the amount I've got. These, one, two, three, four, five. Probably have one more in there. But then again, they, they do produce fast enough as far as I'm concerned. Okay, those will drop any moment. I'll give those pogo fruits... All the stuff that I collect around the place, like pogo fruits and stuff, I'll give to these guys. Nearly anything. They're like my dustbins. Okay, see, I, I need more money now. But I think the best thing to do would be probably to sleep the night through. And then see... Um, and then just go and feed everyone again. And then see how the prices are affected. So I've had a couple of comments saying that I'm quite organised on the farm, so I, I hope you like the way I'm organising everything. I definitely think it's a lot better. I just run around each morning, pick up all the stuff off the floor. Thank you for that. Guessing they ate all the chickens then. end up with like a random pogo fruit. Now I don't know why these uh, kubri trees have all the... oh probably because I haven't picked up the last trees worth. I was trying to work out why I had so many more man mint mangoes than kubris but I had a lot more kubris yesterday so that might be why. And then we'll just go and get all the beets. And then we'll go feed everybody. And then I'll maybe come and pick up all the plorts off the floor as well. One random hunter plort. Or a pogo fruit. Pogo fruit! Off into the sea! We'll feed everybody and then we'll see what the prices are like. This is a good way for me to see how well balanced everything is as well. Am I getting too many heartbeats? Am I getting too many cubries? I'm hoping that they'll be fairly balanced. A little bit more heartbeats, um, a little bit less on the, the cubery front, but we'll see, see how that ends up. So I need to come back down here and just do all the plots after I've done all the feeding. We only have water down here. I'll pick them all up and I'll put them all away in storage. And then we can maybe go and explore, see if we can find any treasure. But I think the farm's going quite well at the moment. <gasps> I missed one. Those need to come off as well, I can see it. Ooh. Now you guys, why is it not picking up your stuff? I actually have no idea why it isn't. So you guys can have about 10 each again of the heartbeats. Maybe a little more, maybe 15. I've actually still got food from the previous day so the food is starting to stock up for them which is what I kind of wanted. Um, I want to get some boom plots so that I can make those other largos. It's 
probably enough. Just stick that in there so it can just go in there. In there. Plot collector. So I should have a bunch of pink and hunter things. Yep, cool. I'll pop down here. Oh, I never gave them it mangoes. Oh, don't worry. I'll come back. So the cube seem to be lasting them well enough. Although I'm going to need to give these guys a bunch of them. Now then. You're going to need a plot collector. And I'll have to feed you by hand for now. But that's not the end of the world. Right, let's go and give everyone else their food. I will pick up some of the water ones because they're just lying around on the floor and I don't know how long they last like that. And I will be very careful. I usually think that picking up the puddle slime is actually easiest there. Pick up the puddle slimes, then pick up the ports, and stick them back in the pond. They don't seem to be worried about that. I've just destroyed so many of them against the wall there, I'm pretty sure. You can hear them popping. I'll go get the puddle plots from down the bottom as well. So on the way past, we need to give mint mangoes to these guys. And we need to go up to the science lab and give those guys mint mangoes as well. If I have an overflow of mint mangoes, I can give some of them to those um, honey honey phosphor crosses. Although I don't really know whether I should have honey phosphor crosses. I should maybe get rid of those and have like a phosphor um, phosphor rad again or a phosphor crystal. Maybe phosphor crystal. So we've got honey crosses and pink crosses and crisp and uh, phosphor crosses. Okay, yes. Oh, I don't have any more mint mangoes. Yeah, well you can have like one more there, and then I'll feed the next batch to the um, sciencey slimes. Actually, it's got well, not many on it. Okay, so let's go and get all the plorts off the floor in here and the water plots. So Hunter and Dabby. I might end up with some carrots or pogo fruit or something. And if I do, I'll just feed them to whoever seems to need some food. Mm, not many. Why are they all hiding? I'm sure I saw loads of plots earlier. Disappointing. Right, let's go get the water ones from down the bottom. Try not to destroy them all as I pick them up. Everything about puddle plots is so fragile. So if they get less shy, I'm just gonna muck around in their pool. If they get less shy from having a rubber ducky, does that mean I can put more of them in? Because I would be very impressed if I could. Okay, I am very happy with how the farm is going now. I like it being organised like this. A 
And the next job is just to see if any of these uh, plot collectors are getting too full. 58. Yes, we are full completely of rock plots. So I'll come back and get those in a minute. They need to go into a silo. Um, am I selling these? Puddles? No, I'm not selling these. They're going into the silos too. Hopefully I've got enough silo space for them. Okay, so that's full of phosphor. That's got nothing in it. Those The puddles can go in there, I think, unless I've already got puddles. I already have, I think those are tabbies. I think I sold all the hunters. They can go in there. What have we got in here? Boom, I think. Yeah. Puddles can go in here. So I don't have much to do to fully upgrade my farm. I just need the, the silos to be a bit more upgraded. Upgrade them to four each. And then I'll be pretty happy with it all. Right. Now last time... Oh, there's a slime fossil on the floor. That's no good. I put um, some drills out into the wilderness. I've already spent about 20 minutes doing stuff around the farm, so I expect that they'll be done by now. Yeah, I know I need to come back for the rock slimes, but we'll do this first. Are you ready? Yes, you're ready. Oh, we definitely got a little bit more from that one. And it carries on. Nice. I guess I'd forgotten about that. I'd made the advanced ones. So we'll go down to the Indigo Quarry. And we'll see what is in that one. Might have to get rid of the Pogo Fruit though. Because it might have two different things. So that deep brine is something that I definitely needed. So that's really cool that that's there. I do need to make some more, I would say. And then I can collect up all of these cool uh, ingredients. Look at you, you're ready to go. Do your little dance. So it's a strange diamond. Oh, good grief, there's all sorts of stuff come out of there. I want the strange diamond. Right, I'm going to go and put these in. Hopefully I'll be able to make a teleporter soon. I really hope so, because uh, I don't want to lose any of this stuff. I'm going to have to run all the way back, put it into the slime science-y thing. And then run all the way back and get all the other stuff. So that I don't lose it. Luckily things on this game don't despawn off the floor too quickly, but I imagine if I um, if I shut down the game or anything, it would probably not be good times. I would lose my stuff. That's why I made sure I took this strange diamond, because that's something that I haven't seen at all yet. And something I need for a teleporter. Okay, right, let's put these away and then go back and grab the other things. So, some deep brine, some primordial oil, some jelly stone, and my strange diamond. So, quickly, just quickly, what do I need for my warp tech? I need a, a strange diamond, which I have, hexacomb, and I need deep, I do need that deep brine. Should probably have enough by the next time one, one pops. Um, and that will be so useful. I can just go straight down to, I'll pro as I say, I'll probably make this one be the one that goes straight into the moss blanket for the apiaries. That I'm going to put down there and then eventually I'll just get an, a colour for each one. And I'll put loads of different ones there and I can just go and get all the stuff, bring it straight back, put it in there, have an empty inventory, etc, etc. It'll be much, much easier that way. Then I'll really ramp everything up. So, did we have an advanced apiary? We do. So let's go and put that in the moss blanket once. Uh, we'll pick up the we'll pick up the stuff from the indigo quarry on the way. So we'll run all the way down. And we 
we'll get the apiary in place. And then I'll work on making a few more. So that we can put a few down at once. Honestly, half those rock ports I've collected could just go straight into the science machine. And maybe next time we could have a look at uh, popping some of the gordos that we found in the indigo quarry. That would be pretty cool. And I think there's some special gordos in the um, ancient ruins and we haven't popped any of those. So we'll, we'll find some of their favourite foods. I might have to actually specially farm it. Indigonium. Interesting. Maybe that's the special thing that you get from the, the drill here. I'm really glad that you don't have to carry the uh, extractors and stuff around in your inventory though. That's kind of handy. So, back out of here and we're going to go down to the moss blanket and we'll put an apiary down. Probably quicker to run since I was on the way. I always forget to take my finger off shift and then I can't um, regenerate my energy. And I'm like running around like a slow coach and I'm like, why is that? Okay. Whoa, feral slimes, you nearly made me fall off. And I would have died with all that indigonium in my inventory. I would not have been impressed. Okay, so once we're down here, we'll get the apiary up. And hopefully I'll get some hexacomb from having it down here. Let's see, so there's an area right there, so we can just put it straight there. And I'll probably just have a, a portal in here somewhere as well, and then a couple of things. And then maybe there's one up there as well that I can use, a couple up the top. There's four or five things around here that I can just straight up use. It's good to actually keep that on and see where all the, the points are. I can have a lot. And then I can just go to back and forward through my portal. Maybe I'll have the portal in the second area. Everything regenerate. I'm a bit lost. Ah, that's better. I went the wrong way. the farm and there is the teleporter so yeah definitely having a teleporter like right near the beginning so I don't have to do that run every time I want to empty an apiary would be very good so let's just work on working out what we need for some more of those um, are you guys got enough food you have okay Because I'm really hoping that next time I'll have enough hexacomb and deep brine to build this apiary, uh, to build this uh, teleporter. But then I need the other teleporters, and I hope that they're a similar recipe. But it's going to take a little bit to uh, to buy them, unfortunately. So let's go and see what the prices are like. Oh, do you know what? I should put that indigonium and slime fossil away otherwise I'm going to try and pick things up and I won't have room. Can you imagine if this was like an MMO and like you had that many slots in it? I think people would cry. Okay so those guys are really totally full as well. The rock slimes are more full, but I'm going to take like 50 of those and stick them in the science machine. Ever since we had the heartbeats, we're getting a lot more rock thoughts. 
out. I think that's handy. Um, oh, couple fell out. Shoot them back in and suck those up. Don't like to waste things. We'll take 50 pink ports as well because they seem to always be needed. We'll put them all in the science machine. I never know when to stop, do I? Okay, also, I think we kind of need some boom, but I think we need quite a bit of phosphor as well. So I'll get some phosphor ones and we'll just go around the other way. I'll stick those in. Because I'm at the point where we've got quite a lot of uh, plots outstanding that I've not sold while I'm waiting for the prices to change. There's no reason I can't slime science them. There we go. And if there's anything else I particularly need a lot of, I'll, like, I'll go grab it. It's helping drive up the price of pink plorts quite a lot. I really crashed those early in the game. So a rock. Okay, let's see what we've actually got in there now. So we've got 82 pink in there, that's good. 109 phosphor, that's probably a little more than we need. 4 boom, 50 rock, 41 tabby, 22 rad. No crystals, no quantums, I don't think I've needed them yet at all. We maybe put some more booms in. I'm not too worried about uh, overdoing it. And obviously all of these particular ones so I've still got three things I haven't found. One of them is hexacomb. And there's a couple of others. So I'll be interested to see what those are. Probably all things from the apiary, to be honest. But with that, I think that's the end of the episode. So hopefully you enjoyed it. It was a little bit of just um, messing around with the farm. We've got nearly enough ingredients now, hopefully, that we can in probably about 20 minutes of play get a our first portal up and that'll be a portal into the moss gland kit which will be so much better um, and then we still have another couple of colors worth of teleporters that i want to get the plans to um, i want to get lots more money so i can get lots more slime sciencey things lots more upgrades and i'm just generally greedy so there we go that's the end of the episode if you liked it please leave me a like and if you'd like to uh, see more Slime Rancher or anything else, then do please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.